four years ago, we come up with a more comprehensive, holistic approach to renew and also reduce our energy consumption. And we targeted 19 communities with about 7,500 occupant units. And we are doing what Derek uh, just uh, showed us, uh, go through an audit, come with uh, saving opportunities, then we implement a bunch of uh, energy saving measures such as replacing all the boiler, uh, changing the light lighting, uh, you know, uh, putting building automation system, uh, changing out the, uh, the uh, old toilet into a six liter low flush toilet. All those uh, measures add up and then they can plan together and then with a very reasonable payback. So we invested over a hundred million dollars in the last four years and uh, we come up with, at least out of that 100 million, uh, 32 million are energy related retrofit work. The rest are capital replacements, such as uh, roof replacement, uh, alchemy repair, uh, building auto uh, repair. And we end up with an estimated saving of about 3.36 million. So this is within like a 10 years payback period, which is very attractive. Um, Right now, we are embarking on a second program, uh, what we call Building Energy Retrofit Program. And we also selected about 19 building sites. But this time, we, we are having a different kind of demand. Wherever the contractor we engage or contract with, we're going to ask them to uh, at least use up 10% of the contract value to hire local rest. Uh, to do uh, some, something uh, like semi-skilled work uh, or provide training for them to become a auditors or uh, do some uh, backroom uh, you know, assistance uh, to the company who is going to uh, work in our building. And not only that, we also ask them to look into their company profile to see in the next three years uh, if they are going to hire 100 uh, people, then we want them to have first consideration of uh, looking into our tenants um, and our residents, whether they have the skill set to become part of the uh, permanent staff. And also we ask them to come with a scholarship, uh, summer job opportunities. So we are using leverage on this opportunity to uh, provide that kind of added benefit to create green job for our own community. So this is something new and we are using uh, our uh, utmost effort to make sure they are here this uh, requirement. On the renewable, as you know, uh, past Thursday, uh, the Green Energy Air was enacted, uh, the Bill 150, although they are just centered on the renewable portion, uh, but it is important uh, uh, kind of milestone uh, for us to uh, embark on something that we haven't uh, tried before because of most of the renewable technologies uh, heavy uh, fund load, uh, heavy capital investment, but with long payback. But with the Green Energy Act and with the Eco Energy Program combined together, now it's becoming very attractive. And uh, we have a lot of solar, uh, you know, hot water project right now. We signed contract with four contractors in the um, one of the uh, Riverdale uh, uh, ward. We have selected four houses and we are going to put in uh, solar collectors and uh, provide the heated water to supplement the domestic hot water requirement for the houses. And we are also doing uh, solar roof projects and solar PV is another important uh, technology that we will deploy in the next two years. So thanks to all these uh, additional incentives and but at the same time as Derek mentioned they are varied. For example uh, under the Energy Act, uh, even under the federal program, there may be some cap that will uh, somehow penalize for our housing because we own over 300 houses. So if they only give 50,000 for one uh, house or one building, then what about the rest of the 200 houses? Are we not going to uh, provide that kind of uh, program? So this is something that we would like to uh, lobby the government have them to listen to our request and be able to come up with a solution. Um, I've been talking uh, mostly on our existing housing stock, 
but we also have uh, opportunity to redevelop some of our older site. So at 92 Carlton, which is uh, close to the uh, Maple Leaf Garden, uh, we have an opportunity to uh, redevelop or put in a new, brand new uh, apartment building of about 110 units. And we are deploying uh, geothermal as one of the uh, solutions to provide heating for cooling. And we also deploy solar thermal, solar PV, and sunshade and green roof as the three features. So this is something that we want to incorporate in, uh, at the design stage and also at the construction stage. Of course, uh, the next uh, final example I want to uh, uh, show is the region park development. Uh, as you have heard in the news, that the first uh, 10 or 15 uh, tenants already moved back to our phase one uh, new building. So they are very happy that they, after two years of construction, they can move back. One of the uh, green features uh, we uh, consider and already constructed is a system called community energy system, or sometimes people call it district heating and cooling system. Uh, this is a system that's similar to uh, a steam heating, but instead of using steam, we are using uh, low hot water and also be able to uh, deploy renewable energy such as solar, wind, uh, and even geothermal. Uh, to plug into this central system and then pump all the heating and cooling to all the future buildings within the region campus. So we are uh, envisioning to replace the existing 2,500 uh, uh, housing into a 5,500 uh, housing unit uh, incorporating some uh, new condominium. And this is one of the innovative approach that the city allows us to uh, build higher density at the same time, we uh, leverage on some of the uh, additional uh, financing coming back so we can put in uh, greener features and also be able to serve the community in a more cost-effective way. Um, as you can see, some of the, uh, the newer uh, boilers and also the heat exchanger we deploy. And this is the, uh, the shaded one is the phase one. And then the rest are the, uh, uh, when it is fully completed, built out, it will be six phases. So it is a 10 years to 12 years uh, development. But we are extremely proud that uh, we have that opportunity to work with uh, three level of government and also with a lot of good partners, including Foreign Hydro and uh, many alliances that we are able to uh, make this uh, vision become real. So on that note, uh, I have to thank everybody here, and I will welcome uh, questions uh, later on. Isn't that exciting? From the most inefficient to the most efficient? Wow, that's a really a bad.